na 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 Oh, this is bringing back all sorts of memories. Welcome to a brand new Gator Snapper playthrough of Billy Hatcher and the Giant Egg. Oh, and we even got a little cutscene to watch. Oh. Oh boy. Wow, this is just... This is just childish and exciting. Oh boy, this is stirring all sorts of memories. Ah! Oh no, stop that. Put that away. Yep, well, uh, let me continue on with this... Oof, this intro. So this was a game that I played at Ryan's house, a friend of mine, a childhood friend of mine that's been on the channel. I played this at his house during the summer time a whole bunch, so it's just full of memories of the beach and summertime fun and air conditioning and nice snacks and soda that I could never have at my parents' house. Just, oh boy. All sorts of things that should be attributed with happiness, but now that I'm looking at this, I'm just a little bit horrified. I mean, okay, I have good memories of this game, so it should be, like, super fun to play. Just like, oh boy, I'm reliving my childhood, having fun yelling at eggs until Pokemon-like creatures come out of them, but from what I've heard, looking up information about this game, it is super frustrating, especially in the later stages, because apparently the camera sucks balls, and a lot of other things suck balls too, but that's the only, that's like the main thing that I know about, so. I don't know, we're gonna jump into this and hope for the best, so yeah, let's fucking get started, I guess. Also, bad news, it seems from, uh, oh fuck, this game's gonna come out after Lost Planet and, or, yeah, yeah, no, shit, it's gonna come out before Lost Planet videos air, so. Okay, fun. It seems that my controller is dying, so, uh, I'm gonna have a- Oh, no, it's not even working right now. I guess that- Oh, no, it's back. Okay, cool. I was about to say, I might have to fucking fall back and play on, um, you know, play on mouse and keyboard, which would be kind of unfortunate, but nope, everything seems to be okay. Cool, let's jump into this. I've already played a little bit of this game already, just to, like, oh, you know, get into it, but that was a while ago, so... I don't know, can I, can I delete this data? You know, I'm just gonna fucking start a new game, who cares, let's jump into this. Oh no, I can't, okay, cool, sorry. Fucking Gator Snapper is spending a lot of this episode in the menus, it would seem. Here we go. Let's start this bad boy up. Oh boy, am I excited for Billy Hatcher and the Giant Egg. I can play Battle Mode, get out of there, you creepy little kids, you strange child. Alright, yeah, let's fucking jump into this astounding story of eggs. I don't know, I don't even remember what this fucking game's about. All I remember is rolling eggs around and being frustrated. Oh, look at them, they're so cute. Look at these weird anthropomorphic animals. Oh god, what a scream. Okay, so it seems like the friendly chickens of Chicken Island are being overtaken by cool crows, so... Oh god, they're just making annoying fucking rooster noises. You know... The chickens are being, like, portrayed as the good guys here, but where I live, they were the fucking bane of my existence, because they'd always wake me up early in the morning. Because our neighbor earned, uh, earned, he owned hordes of chickens, so, yeah, not a fucking good time when every morning they just fucking scream. Oh, hello. I guess no one speaks any, la uh, uh, no one speaks any languages here, but, oh, God, those are the worst faces. Those are disgusting. Oh, and now we've got you. Hello, little little one. Okay, and you just... <laughs> nice anime lines. Okay, defend the chicken with your anime superpowers. Oh, God, he pulled out his weeaboo katana. Beat the shit out of that crow. That's, that's just animal abuse. You don't fucking just hit a crow because it's attacking a chicken. That's nature. You don't fuck with nature. Oh, and the chicken was also a port key slash god of chickens. Alright, well, we're off to a fucking astounding start, it would seem. Like, what the fuck is wrong with this game? Cool, you know, I'm not even gonna fucking complain about it. I'm just gonna take things in stride. I had enough bullshit playing Lost Planet today, so... Yeah, let's just see how this all turns out. Cool, we're just here now. Nice, okay. Taking in stride. Oh, there we go. There's a thing that makes sense. So, I'm just teleported into this strange world, and my immediate reaction is like, Let's grab a fucking egg! Oh, I can't grab the eggs yet. Oh, that's right, because I'm not in my super chicken suit. Oh, that's right, like a Power Ranger. I have to- Oh, hello. Voice of God! Billy Hatcher, so glad you made it! Brawr! I am me Mini Foony. Oh my god, it really was a god of chickens. I was saying that facetiously. I watch over Morningland, the world of the chickens. 
Is this not the most stupid fucking plot you've ever heard? I've summoned you here for a very special reason. Morningland has been taken over by the crows and has not seen the light of day since. If we let the darkness spread not only on Morningland, but your world, it will never see again the light of day. Sorry, I had to paraphrase that a little bit because I can't fucking read. We can't let that happen. You saved the chick from being captured by the crows. I sensed a deep courage welling from within you. And I thought, hey, why not pluck this kid from his world and have him deal with my problems instead of actually doing something about it myself? With that courage, you must bring Morning back to our world. I like how Billy's just listening with a hand cup to his ear as if he can just barely hear this fucker. Like, uh-huh, yeah, yeah, okay, cool, I like this. Like where this is going. Um, would really appreciate to be sent back home and not have to deal with your bullshit. Here in Forest Village, there exists a legendary chicken suit. Like, when you take all of this out of context and you just hear, like, the bare details of the story, it kind of feels like a fever dream. Like, Chicken Land, God of Chickens, legendary chicken suit. I don't even know why they're fucking against crows in the first place. This suit is said to have the power to protect its wearer from the perils of Morning Land. Yeah. Sounds like a real dangerous place. This place that you've been hyping up is like, oh, it's so nice and wonderful here. Yeah, there's perils. Fucking watch your ass. Billy, you must find this legendary chicken suit. Use his powers to bring morning back to morning land. If I remember correctly, it's not really a thing of like, oh, you must pass some sort of a trial to acquire this legendary chicken suit to prove your worth to it. It's, it's kind of just laying around where any stupid chicken could be using it. Like, really, hey, you, why don't you use it? Oh, I can talk to these fuckers. Hello. Uh, morning brightens up people's hearts. The night makes people gloomy and brings out the darkness that resides deep within their hearts. That's why we must bring morning to this world as soon as possible. Well, fuck you. What's wrong with liking nighttime? I like nighttime. You saying I'm a bad fucking person? I'll beat your ass. I'll snap your neck. I'll cut your head off and make you walk around like a stupid chicken because your brain is in the wrong part of your body. Well, no, that's not at all how that works, but yeah. If you cut a chicken's head off just right, uh, it's a stupid little head brain. Like, the bare detail, or the bare necessities of what's in its brain are just left behind so it can still walk and shit. Wait, was this the chicken suit? What is that? That really is just... What the... It really was just sitting there, so... You guys really had trouble with this? Billy, this is the hidden legendary chicken suit, which gives you power over all eggs. Once again, fever dream scenario. What does power over all eggs even fucking mean? With the suit's power, you'll be able to use eggs to defeat crows and perform various egg techniques. The fuck are you talking about? I just got this chicken suit and you're throwing some weird shit at me? If you raise an egg, an egg animal, or even sometimes an item may hatch out of it. That I always thought was cool. I love the idea of, like, raising Pokemon, basically. If you can master the chicken suit's power and control eggs, you may be able to save this world. But first, to test your suit's powers, you must save the elder of Forest Village, Oma Oma. Because that sounds like a chicken name, right? Oh, and there's the evil fucking Tengu Overlord, by the way. Ah, uh, I like his design. He's kind of cool. I'd rather work with him than anything else. He kind of sounded like Frieza to me. Yeah, it's Frieza! Get him! He's gonna blow up the planet with his Destructo Ball, or whatever the fuck he calls it. Alright, well cool, now we got our super-powered chicken suit. It's very similar to uh, Iron Man's fucking suit, robot suit, so uh, I'm gonna be shooting lots of uh, concussion blasts out of my hands, flying around, doing all sorts of shit with missiles. No, I'm sorry, I'm actually gonna be using eggs for all of my problems. So this is how you play this game, basically. It's kind of, it's a, it's a little cutesy game. I like it. It's really just, it was really satisfying as a kid, but that was mainly only these early stages, so I don't know, but only th the only thing I remember, like, after getting f further in this game like, the furthest I got in this game was um, oh, uh, what was it? It's like some, like, mountain peak area, it's after the volcanoes, I think and it was just it, it sucked because you had to, like, put it, all you had to put the egg that you had to hatch on, a tr like, a train track and it, it controlled like ass, so yeah, fun shit. Okay, jump normally. Oh, well, that's closed. Okay, do you have any information about this? Uh, to open this door, you must find a switch. Where could it possibly be? I don't fucking know. How about you use your fucking vast chicken resources and find it for me, you little ass? Well, fine, I'll just hatch this egg, I guess. Run around with this little thing, fucking twiddling my dick around. Oh, okay. Wow, that's, I can already tell that's gonna be frustrating. So if you jump and you hold back, you kind of, like, you just let go of the egg. I don't know why you'd let go of the egg. What if you, if you don't even let go of the egg if you hold back normal? How do you let go? Oh, oh, you have to bring it to a stop. Okay, so if the egg comes to a complete stop and I'm not holding forward, 
I'm kind of gonna fuck myself over, we see. Yay, I am, I can't wait, okay. So, okay, put the egg down, okay, so that opens the gate, neat, 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 okay, I'm learning this game pretty fast, do I have to leave the egg here? Nope, I do not, cool. Holy fuck, and this egg breaks everything. Yeah, it's not really the delicate little Fabergé egg that you would think it would be, but alright, cool. Yeah, this is satisfying. It's kind of got that Katamari Damashi aesthetic to it. But that's only because you're rolling an egg. Sorry, I should clarify this. I've never played Katamari Damashi or Damase or however the fuck you say it, so... Uh, me making that comparison is literally just saying, Oh yeah, you roll a thing around, right? Like an old lady that's just like, Oh, that's... Uh, oh, oh, did I just break something important? I saw something golden and I just assumed I should roll over it. Oh fuck, I just remembered the elders are trapped in golden eggs. Oh, that can't be good. <laughs> oh no, I'm so sorry, elder. I think I've killed you. Well, my egg's ready to hatch, so do I, do I want to do that, or... It's kind of like a... Oh, get up higher, yeah. Jump up using a bounce jump. Okay, how do I do it? Press... Up, okay, jump up, holding an egg, press the A button while you're still in the air. Okay. Get the timing right, you can jump really high. So, it's just like... Okay, okay. Oh, I wish the child didn't speak meanwhile, but... Alright, it's fine, I guess. So, one of the things I remember with this game is, like... The whole deal of like you rolling the egg around, uh, feeding it until it's super big to hatch it, it's kind of got two purposes, which I thought was neat. Or thinking back on it now, it's neat. As a kid, I probably just didn't even think twice about it. But you can either hatch the egg and get whatever's inside of it, or you can just continue to use it and it's like super strong. Because the bigger the egg is, the more damage it does. So it's kind of got that like, oh, you could hatch it kind of thing. It's like in Pokemon when you decide not to evolve your Pokemon. I just like that. I, I like that option in games. Like, oh, I want to use its superpower. Oh, this is how you hatch it. So what do we got here? That's adorable. There is nothing in it. Cool. Glad I glad I fucking did that then. Oh, oh, that's right. This game was a fucking Sega Team Sonic game. Well, I don't really know about about Team Sonic, but it was definitely Sega. Holy shit, there's even eggs you can get that, like, well, I guess that one in particular, because it's got this logo on it. Yeah, you can hatch Sonic out of the eggs. That's, that's fucking stupid. I love it. Oh, God. Ooh, actually, I want this egg. This egg looks more important. Get out of here. Fuck you, egg. Fuck you, other innocent child that hasn't been born yet. Oh, boy. You can expect... Gator Snap is going to talk about abortion throughout this whole fucking playthrough because that's what the theme of this game is all about. Uh, let me just make one thing perfectly clear. Don't care one way or the other about most political things, including abortion, so... I'm going to be smashing eggs left and right with uh, no regard to the well-being of whatever creatures could be hiding inside. Hiding inside, yeah. They're hiding. They're in fear. You can tell. That's why it's so cruel for you to break them open, Gator Snapper. They're just trying to live their lives! Uh, yeah. I mean, not really. They're not alive yet, so how can they live? Ha ha ha! Gator Snapper's doing that thing he just said he wasn't going to do. Also, Gator Snap is just a little bit lost as to what he did. Like, I smashed open the, the thing, right? To open this door, you must find this- Oh, I'm fucking back here again. You stupid fucking little asshole, I already opened this door, you- Pay attention. Pay attention with your dumb brain. Okay, so, I went over there, so- Oh, I guess I opened this. Neat. Well, what do you have to say? Oh, oh, come back, come back to me. Ah, oh, ha ha ha, I'm accidentally learning controls. Alright, little fucker, what do you got? To open this door, you need to find the switch and press it. I guess you already did that, so good job! A for effort! No, E for egg! Fuck you! There we go, let's keep going, I guess. Oh, hello. I guess I get a fair warning about when these guys are popping up, because, uh, you know, they just... They, it seems like their shadows appear before they actually do. Is Maybe, is that actually, I don't know, I'm saying that like it's a thing with like, oh, hey, the game fucked up and gave it away where the enemies were, but maybe that's just how it's supposed to be, so, I don't know. One of Gator Snapper's favorite things to do is to uh, find little fu tiny things to nitpick about, so, oh, yay, get ready for a whole playthrough of that. Listen, listen, a crow used some strange power to transform into a giant cat. Fever dream, still, just entirely, what the fuck, it looks like the crows have the power to change into stronger animals. Yeah, kind of uh, survival of the fittest working out here. Like, you guys, what the fuck do you even have? You're literally just chickens that sit around doing jack shit. I'd rather support the crows. They they fit my, like, mindset more than the fucking other guys do. Oh, it wasn't. Oh, oh, I fucked it up. 
Okay, I gotta get used to the actual mo- mo- blah, 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 blah. Hey, assholes, assholes, dude, fuck you. I have to get used to the actual physics of this game, because it does seem to have some real unfortunate physics. Oh boy, unfortunate physics, it's fucking rolling. It's supposed to be like that. Saying it shouldn't be like that is just stupid. But now I want that. How do I- is there like a way I can cheat this? Oh, ha ha ha, ha ha ha, ha ha! I have discovered the, the ultimate technique! Ah. Okay, come on, small child, you can get that gold coin. I don't even fucking know what the gold coin is used for. All right, I crushed him. He is... Wait, what happens? What happens to his model? Oh, hold on, I want to see that. What happens when he's, uh... Well, how do I... How do I do the... How do I roll around like that? Okay, I guess I don't. Hold on, maybe if I do this? Okay, I don't know how to just go around ro rolling... Oh, I am so sorry, unborn child. I smashed your egg. Your little home. You're gonna have weird brain problems when you hatch. Oh, that is unfortunate for you. Not for me, though. I could care less. I'm busy saving your world from cat crow things. I don't even fucking know. I really gotta get into, like, detailed depth of the lore of this game to truly understand exactly what it is I'm doing. That thing in the cage- oh, wait, you're God. I'm sorry. That thing in the cage over there is actually Chicken Elder Oma Oma. The crows use their special powers and turned him into a golden egg. See, they're even trying to fix the economy by getting rid of corrupt leaders and hatching them. Or not hatching them, just selling them as a golden egg. If you defeat the crows guarding the cage, it will open. Haha, -ha. typical video game stuff, I guess. Oh, wow. Huh. That's kind of like in, like, certain joke animes when you fucking go and, like, when they're like, oh, this guy's super hard, you're not gonna have a hard time beating him, and then they just fucking one-shot him like that, it's fucking great. What we got in here? Nice hatch. Oh, I got a, I got a little, I got a Shiba Inu. Or maybe a tiger, actually. That looks more like a tiner. Timer. Jesus. I'm sorry. My brain is all over the place. Can't even say a word correctly. Well done, Billy. This is the egg that the elder was sealed within. But you aren't done just yet. To break the seal, you must hatch the egg. Feed the egg until it can't get Okay. Rooster call. El elder will break free. Cool. Should be super easy. Ah, you're not escaping me, banana. I'm feeding you to this fucking unnecessary elder chicken. Yep, supporting the patriarchy. Haha, -ha, just like Billy Hatcher always wanted. Yep, this game always taught me when I was really young that I uh, always support the patriarchy, and uh, capitalism is good, and I don't know, all the other things that people are currently starting to realize are kind of, uh, kind of fucked. Yeah, I don't know. Seems like, uh... Good, good little thing of education. Seems like uh, a lot of people are questioning kind of the shitty setups of a society. Hmm, about fucking time. No, Gator Snapper isn't gonna fucking promote anarchy, so just pretend it didn't say any of that. Oh, are we already done? Is this all I do? All right, Billy, hatch the little fucking outer and let's call it a day. Yay, we did it. I really love how it just goes like, Cook -a -doo. oh, you are, you are an easily fuckable chicken. Oh, and yay, he did it. He has the power to call upon sunshine. Neat. I like that. I love this- Oh my god, I love this world. Just look at it. It's so fun, and there's just not enough railings to make it okay to be rolling around fast in here. Oh boy, what do you got to say for me, buddy? <laughs> Thank you for saving me. I'm Oma Oma, one of the chicken elders who calls the morning and runs the forest village. I was taken by surprise and captured by the crows. They turned me into a golden egg. Like you've already been told several times, the other elders may have been captured by the crows and turned into golden eggs as well. Billy, you must save the elders and bring morning back to this world. Uh, this is an emblem of courage. I think I've got something laying around my pocket here. Some, some lint. That's the emblem of courage. You can shape it like one. Hmm. Thanks. It has been a tradition among us chickens to give this emblem as a symbol of bravery. There will come a time when you'll need it. Keep it safe. Oh. Oh. That's some, uh, gross pocket lint. Kinda looks like it's, ugh, crafted out of blood and skin. Oh, God. You just found that in your pocket, huh? What are you putting in there? Nothing. Nothing for you to worry about. Cool. Well, now what? What do you got for me to- Oh, hello. Cough at me. Thank you for saving me. I'm Oma. Oh, God. He's just saying it all over again. Well, cool. So I, I got the thing. That's that's great. That's hot. I like where this is going. Uh, what do I do now? Now that I have said thing, uh, kind of at a loss. Maybe I should just hatch more eggs. I mean, for, oh, oh, oh. I thought he was handing it to me like a fucking sane adult would. No, he's just throwing it somewhere for me to grab. He's like, here, go get it, you little fucker. Okay, cool. Thanks, Elder. Ah, it's so beautiful. It's kind of, I like the design. It's really nice. It's like all sharp edges and chicken head. Oh. Good morning to you, strange child. Speak English like I do. 
without an accent. Ugh. Okay, new record. I got a D. Ah, no surprise there, I suppose. Well, cool. We're well on our way to beating this game. Got our first chicken head. Uh, can't wait to collect more, and cool. I guess this is, uh, yeah, this is now a series. Been a Gator Snapper playthrough. See you guys in the next one. Later, everybody.